Hey guys, it's February. I don't even know what day it is. But it's the week that Valentine's Day is going to fall upon us. If you've watched all of my videos, aka my first video, you may know that Valentine's Day is literally my favorite holiday, or one of them at least. I think it's just because you spread love, and who doesn't love love? I mean, if you don't love love, then you're probably alone, and I feel very sorry for you, and I hope you find love one day. Today, I was just thinking, you know, maybe I'll do one of those, like, one hour get ready with me for my Valentine's Day. Why not? It's my favorite holiday. Let's just talk, have a good time. So first things first, I just woke up. I haven't even brushed my teeth yet. Kind of nasty. Look at how greasy my hair is, my dandruff. Yes, I suffer from a really dry scalp, guys. Like, <sighs> dandruff is no freaking joke for me. I have tried so many different shampoos. Nothing works. If you know of anything, comment down below because your girl needs it. It doesn't look so bad right now. The point is, I need to go take a shower. I need to wash this filthy, greasy hair. I need to brush my teeth and then we'll start getting ready and chatting. So, shower time. One hour later. <laughs> I was about to start doing my makeup. I did my brows. They look pretty good, if you ask me. I've definitely improved since my early days on the tube. As I was in my mirror, plucking my brows, filling them in, doing the damn thing, I noticed I had a mustache. And that is one thing I do before I go on any date night, is pretty much wax my entire body myself. Yes, it is very painful. I do my forehead right here, my nose. Sometimes I'll wax my eyebrows, not really. I pretty much just pluck those and trim them myself. But I wax my underarms. I love doing my underarms. And sometimes if I forget to do my lip with the hard wax, I will just use these neat little strip things. No, it's not sponsored by this company. I don't even know what company it is. But I just buy them at Target and you have to heat them with your arm or your hands. And then you peel them apart and put it where the hair is. Like, voila. And rip it off. <sighs> this is always the hardest part, honestly. Yeah, that was a good one. It's not wise to do this before I am about to do my makeup, but I don't want a hairy lip on my date night. I mean, come on. I don't want to look like a beast. I'm just kind of warming the wax a little bit again. Oh, fudge. Yeah, these work really well, actually. I just don't like seeing my mustache because my hair is dark my skin is very fair i mean what else is there to say now that we are mustache free it's time to put on my makeup i am not a beauty guru i have said that a number of times on my videos i just like to do my makeup you know what i mean jelly bean so if i do something not perfect because I don't really care. I just do whatever I want to do. Yeah, Valentine's Day is one of my top holidays. I think growing up, my mom would always get me something for Valentine's Day, a card, just something really cute and simple that a kid would love. I just always loved that. I loved that my mom always included me in Valentine's Day with her and my dad and stuff like that. Now as an adult, I've been in a relationship for going on seven years now, coming up. The last couple of years, we've actually been celebrating a couple days before or after. And the reason for that is, because one year we went to the Cheesecake Factory, which I love the Cheesecake Factory, guys. It is one of my favorite restaurants. I love their bread. We went to Cheesecake Factory. It was on Valentine's Day, and we waited for like three and a half hours. Why were we willing to wait that long? I have no idea. I think it was because we were calling places once we reserved our table at Cheesecake Factory to see how long the wait was everywhere and everywhere was pretty much the same. So we were like, well, we might as well just wait here. We didn't have anywhere where we could like just
just cook for ourselves and we were starving it was dinner time so we just sucked it up and waited for our freaking table at Cheesecake Factory it was insane I will never do it again and we even asked the waiter like oh my gosh is it like this every single year and the guy was like honestly this is the second busiest holiday of the year and we were like what's the first and he said Mother's Day and I thought that was crazy Mother's Day is apparently a really busy day in the restaurant industry I don't know if people just don't want to cook for their mothers after that three hour three and a half hour whatever it was wait we just decided we're never gonna celebrate <laughs> on Valentine's Day ever again it's just not worth it it's super busy out so we just pretty much do the weekend before a couple days before or after whatever it kind of lands on the last couple of years we pretty much have done the same thing for Valentine's Day and we just always go to iPic. If you don't know what iPic is, it is a movie theater in LA. They used to have a couple locations but I think they closed the Hollywood location and they just have the Pasadena location which is my favorite location by the way. It's my favorite date night, honestly. It's like a really luxurious movie theater experience. It just rocks. You get free popcorn. I don't know. It's really, really rad and I love it so much. As you may know, the last couple years for Valentine's Day came out those movies, The Fifty Shades of Grey, which I'm a fan. I don't know about you. I read all the books, but yes, I did drag my boyfriend to the freaking Fifty Shades of Grey movies for Valentine's Day. So that's what we did for a lot of our Valentine's Day movies at iPic is we just went and saw Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't think he loved it, but he did it for me because he knows I love those movies. He's a keeper. So this year we just went to iPic. We did not see the Valentine's Day movie this year, obviously, because it wasn't out yet, whatever that one is. I think I saw a preview for it, but I don't even know what it is. We saw 1917. It wouldn't be my pick of choice, if you know what I mean, but it still was good. By the way, if you're curious about my eyeshadow, I am using a couple different palettes. Kylie Jenner Sipping Pretty palette. I just used this cream shade all over. And then I'm using my Conspiracy palette. I used the Trish color all over. And then I used my Violet Voss palette and I used the darker pink shade for my corner. Now I'm using my pills in the conspiracy palette to blend the two together. Like I said, I'm just not a beauty guru. I just do my own freaking thing and wing it. On a real note, it's obviously not Valentine's Day today. Valentine's Day is on Friday, but I post videos Wednesday. Sometimes I'm late. Sorry about it. I'm honestly not doing anything tonight, but this is what I would do if we were going out on Friday night or whatever. But we already celebrated and I'm just gonna get dressed, do my makeup, all this stuff. Maybe I'll do something for myself today. Probably go get myself some ice cream because I'm craving some ice cream. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just like putting shit on my eyelids. Like if it's pink, and dabbing into it and putting it on. But what do you guys do for Valentine's Day? Let me know in the comments. I'm always up for new date night ideas because we don't have very many. So let me know what you guys do for Valentine's Day, AKA date night. And maybe I'll go do it one of these days. I don't know, we'll see. We will see about that. About that, we will see. I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. I tried so hard. Ugh, I'm so mad. Do you see that? Ew. How do I fix it? I don't want to make it thicker. Gosh dang it. Whatever. It's gonna have to work. Patch it up, baby. Patch it up. Sometimes you have good eyeliner days and sometimes you have bad. Just like sometimes you have good brow days. A lot of times you have bad. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Honestly. There's no hope at this point. I'm gonna throw on a pair of strip lashes and call it a day because it will hide most of my mistakes on my eyeliner. That's the secret, folks. I'm getting mascara all over my beauty blender because my mascara is still wet. Gosh, I'm just not doing good in the makeup department today. Seriously, what is going on? After I finish my makeup, I will go do my hair and for date nights, I definitely like curly hair just because my hair is naturally 
paper straight. Having curly hair gives me more volume, gives me a different look. I do like to use a flat iron to curl my hair. Yeah, I'll show you guys how I do that real quick and then I'll get dressed and then I'm ready to go. Even though I'm not going anywhere. I don't even know if this really does anything. I hope it does. I tell myself it does. Ugh, I seriously feel so much better that I don't have a mustache. It looks so much better. So what now? We'll do put my lashes on. Lashes, lashes. I did the rest of my makeup off camera. I just put some pink under my eye, added my highlighter. We're almost there, guys. Next up is lips. Now, this is something I do struggle with, lipstick. I'm not the best at matching lipstick, like at all. And I think it's because a lot of my lipsticks are relatively the same shade. Like they're all nude. I don't know. I'm not good at this part. Don't judge me. Don't blow me up in the comments. I'll put this pink lip gloss on top. Maybe that'll help alleviate this mess. That doesn't look terrible, right? And now it's time to do my hair. My flat iron has been heating up, warming up, whatever you want to say. I will just briefly show you guys how I curl my hair. It's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. So I will meet you in the bathroom. TMI. Time to tame the mane. So I have a flat iron. I don't put it on high because we don't want to damage our hair. I take small sections. What is that? Like an inch each. Comb through it first so you don't have any tangles in there. I used to always do one way away from my hair and then you kind of get this like one big ringlet later on. It just works to do every section a different direction. Bam, she got bars, son. All right, that was cheesy. Okay, I'm going to take the flat iron between my hair and pull while curling away from my hair. And then I just twirl it like so, and boom, we have a curl. That's how I curl my hair with the flat iron. I'm probably the worst at describing this, so I am so sorry if it doesn't make sense. Wow, the transformation is real. Here we are, people. Now, I split my hair in half in the back. So this half we did away from the face. This half we'll do away from the face as well. And then when we do the second section, we'll split it in half in the back and do them towards the face. I don't think that's how we're supposed to do it. I think the trick is to do it the one direction, the whole section that you're doing. This is just what I do. I pretty much do like three sections just because my hair is very fine. If you have a lot of hair, you probably got to do a lot more sections. Now this is our second section and we're going to do it towards the face. So we did this way, first row, and we will do towards the face for our second. Bingo! So now that we're towards my bangs, even though they're not really bangs, but the face, which is the most important part. I always make sure I end off on my top layer, aka my bangs, being away from the face because it's just going to open up your face. Go like this and pull them away from the face. So I will just take my fingers through my scalp and kind of floof it out just to give it like an even flow texture. I like it to look a little messy because again, when you get a beach wave, a natural beach wave, it's not perfect, it's messy. Oof, I hate the smell of hairspray too. That's that. Easy peasy, folks. I'm just gonna shut up and go get dressed now. So, come along, people. I am wearing Spanx because we want ourselves to look slim thick. Am I right? Since I would be going out at nighttime, I would probably just pair it with a jean jacket, call it a day. And I do have one fun little surprise. Ready, hang on, don't look. Oh yeah, I am so Valentine's Day ready. These are from Amazon. They were literally like seven bucks. Totally worth the purchase. 
I love them. I don't know how you feel about them, but I'm definitely gonna wear these. They're just so cute, so festive. I did do my nails and I did film it and I believe I deleted the footage like an idiot. That sucked, but I did my nails. They're little flames. I was just telling people like, my love is just burning for Valentine's Day. So I did little flame I wear short heels because I can't wear long, tall heels. They kill me. No, that's not poop or anything. That's paint. I have paint over there as well because I don't have a studio in my room or anywhere, so I just paint in my room. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you liked it and want more get readies with me's, get ready with me's, whatever, give it a thumbs up because maybe we'll do more. Probably not though. I'm not that great at makeup. I'm not good at explaining how to do things at all, which I am so sorry for, but I just thought let's give it a go. Let's give it a whirl. See how this turns out. This week's video shout out goes to Brenda. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for watching wherever you are. That's it for this week's video. I will see you guys all next week on next week's video. I hope you have a great Valentine's Day. Get down, get groovy, go out to eat. Good luck in that three hour wait. Hopefully you made a reservation somewhere. So long and farewell my friends. Have a good one. Bye.